Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Zac Efron took his career in a new direction when he starred with Nicole Kidman in The Paperboy. Now they're reteaming for the Hollywood set rom-com A Family Affair. It will be streaming on Netflix June 28th and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Zac Efron is drawing from familiar territory with his character, Chris Cole. Chris is a hotshot actor, starring in an abysmal franchise, appearing on Hot Ones, and makes all the headlines. He's a total himbo who can't manage his life without his assistant, Zara, who's played by Joey King. Now, he eventually pushes her to her breaking point, and she ends up quitting. In his attempt to reel her back in, he ends up meeting Zara's mom, Brooke, one afternoon. Nicole Kidman plays Brooke, who is this widow and a really accomplished writer. One thing leads to another, and Chris and Brooke have a little afternoon tryst, despite their age difference and connection to Zara. Brooke is willing to let her guard down at the thought of finding love again, but Zara is all too leery, knowing how Chris has treated women in his past. The film also stars Kathy Bates as Kidman's mother and Joey King's grandmother. Director Richard Lagravenis is working under a script by up-and-coming writer Carrie Solomon. Lagravenis has made other rom-coms like P.S. I Love You, The Last Five Years, and Paris Je T'aime. It'd be really easy to dismiss a family affair as just a silly rom-com that's all too corny for its own good, something like a Hallmark movie. But Carrie Solomon's script really leans into making fun of these Hollywood bros and the privilege that they're given in any given day. Luckily, Zac Efron knows exactly how to play this role. It's not a stretch, but it allows him to kind of poke fun at himself and other actors that he knows. His character isn't too bright and has to have it spelled out for him how his franchise is based on the Icarus mythology. Nicole Kidman can just sit back and relax in this role because uh, it offers her change of pace from some of the more heavy limited series that she's been starring in lately. There's a bit of a Mrs. Robinson feel here with the 16-year age difference between the characters of Chris and Brooke, and the film dutifully acknowledges this and makes that part of the predicament between them and what it means for them as a couple and the mother-daughter relationship. All three leads are integral to this story. Joey King Zara struggles with her place in the industry and the relationship that she then now has with her mom. She can be a really messy character, and the film isn't afraid to call her out on how selfish she becomes along the way. It also gives space for the character like Brooke to just find love again later on in life, even if it's with someone that's much younger than her. A Family Affair works best when it is self-referential, making fun of the Hollywood types. It has the, all the rom-com tropes from the cheesy one-liners, the grand public displays of affection, and even comments on hate-watching reality television. Director Richard LaGravenis makes this a light and easy watch. He has a trio of lead performers who, are all, who allow themselves to just have a good time and not take their work too seriously within this story. I'm giving A Family Affair 3 out of 5 ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some other movie reviews, some celebrity interviews, and I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment here on YouTube or on social media at Paul's Movie Trip. What are your favorite movies from? Zac Efron, Nicole Kidman, Joey King. I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment uh, here on YouTube or on social media at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of A Family Affair. This is Paul's trip to the movies.